Corey's sad. He just told me he cried in his hotel room before he came here. <laughs> I, I actually did, but I cry so often it doesn't even surprise me. Did you tell me that in confidence? I mean, I've told you a lot of things in confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that the word confidence? Yeah. Telling you in confidence. I feel like that's not the right word. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm learning words. <laughs> Hi, everybody! Yeah. <laughs> tickets to this just this weekend actually did anybody buy tickets for this like today yesterday friday yeah cool that's awesome uh we charge you double no, no, no. No. <laughs> so this we're not showing the movie i don't hopefully i think some people thought what? that we were showing the movie we're what? not sorry we're not showing the movie yet we're gonna we're gonna watch part of the movie yeah now. <laughs> Hey, That's I, even better. <laughs> I'd rather have at least give me a bit of I it. don't want to see. I just want to see a little bit. <laughs> she likes to be teased. She, she's really into trailers. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, did you see the latest trailer? I don't watch the movie, but <laughs> I was just uh, eating. We just went and ate, and I got yelled at in the restaurant because Blockumentary wasn't out yet. Oh, yeah. This oh. random girl comes up. She's like, where is that movie? You guys announced that a year ago. I'm like, documentaries take a long time to make. We're going to talk about it. Where did I eat? I don't know. Where was it? The answer is always Tim Hortons. <laughs> Did you see the Buffer Festival Donut? Too, no. <laughs> There's a Buffer Festival Donut. I ate it Doritos. Is that a sponsor? Do I have to say yeah. that contractually? <laughs> they I have nacho more. cheese Doritos all weekend. That's all I ate. They gave us more money than Tim Hortons, but I love Tim Hortons way more. <laughs> you can't say that. You can't. I just said. I, I love Doritos. Doritos. Yeah, I love Doritos. Does money fall from the sky now? <laughs> yeah, it goes to pay for this theater. Yeah, right. <laughs> So, uh, about, what has it been now? I mean, okay, let me start here. When I hit daily vlogging for three years, I had this idea. I was like, three years of making videos every day, like, that's, that's an accomplishment. I should make a movie about that, right? I wanted to do something about that three years because at that point, it was really our job. This was definitely a career, and YouTube had progressed to the point, you know, by 2012, that it was a serious thing, and people were, you know, paying attention to it. And so I thought, it would be great to tell the story of how this became my job, because the question always comes up when I tell people what I do, they're like, you can make money on YouTube? Like, how, even today, after, you know, we've been hustling in this game for, you know, some people seven, eight years, still people don't know that there is good quality content that is rivaling Netflix and Hulu and all these places that happens on YouTube, and there's these core creators that you all know and love, but the rest of the world doesn't. So my vision always was to be able to introduce the world to these people that, you know, Corey has at Bufferfest. Well, one of the things we did with Buffer Festival is that uh, obviously there's a lot, of, a lot of press and media and TV, you know, they're, they're interviewing all the YouTubers while they're here. Uh, wow. And this year we put in a policy with our PR team that they're not allowed asking the YouTubers, how did you get started? Oh, really? Yeah, because I decided that that's kind of a rude question. Imagine, go, who's your favorite actor? Uh, I recently, I don't know. Brad Pitt. Okay, so, so Tom Cruise. Oh, okay, so Tom, Tom, Tom okay. Cruise. Let's do Tom Cruise. So, so let's say Tom Cruise and Brad, Brad Pitt are uh, at my Tiff, house at Tiff. <laughs> okay. And, and, and I know Brad Pitt has definitely been in this room before. Somebody is sitting in a seat that Brad. Because I mean, this smell is smell it. You can This smell is the it. Toronto it's International like... Film Festival theater, right? Um, anyways, so we told them like you can't meet Tom Cruise or Brad say, Pitt. Yeah. How did you get started? You make money acting. <laughs> You act for a living? How did you get started? Does anyone know about this? And so we decided that this is the year that they're not allowed asking that anymore. That's a good, I like that actually. It's not YouTube 101, and on Industry Day, uh, uh, we didn't throw Industry Day, the Canadian Film Center did, but I, I had the opening speech, and I went out, and I, and, and I made sure that uh, my team and I, we went over like the creative for the day, and they had, and they're like, how to make a viral video, and we removed it. Uh, and we replaced it with, why not to make a viral video? Um, and so uh, we went out, or sorry, I went out, and I was like, okay, today is not YouTube 101, because it's not 2008. <laughs> You look very young, but e but every time we interview you, you look like a completely different person. Yeah, uh, and that's gonna be really cool in the film is because you'll just every ten minutes of the film shades just a different guy. beard. No beard, that skinny. Um, so, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're actually gonna bring out uh, some of the members of the Apprentice A team. Put your hands
hosting something? Is she hosting Video Game High School? She's uh, co-hosting with uh, Jimmy Wong's car got carjacked, and he they stole his passport, and he can't fly to Canada. So now car. Sam is hosting Video Game High School season three, because she was the one who was flying him here. Sam, you guys stay a while. Yeah, we got some mics for you. Um, mics. We have four total, right? One, okay, uh, oh, let's yeah. let's spread it out. Okay, cool. Um, Joel, can we talk? Yeah. Um, you just did that just in the past couple weeks. Yep. Um, <laughs> for, uh, and, and, yeah, and four other. Um, so, what's it like going through Super Old Chaytard's vlogs? Do you hate me? <laughs> <laughs> so sick of looking at this guy. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot about you now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's time consuming. It's, it's a lot of work. Um, but yeah, those those red frames aren't supposed to happen. <laughs> they were torturing me. Yeah, we have to we have to take it and convert it to a very specific theater format to deliver it to TIFF, and and you know, and, and we were supposed to do quality check and we screwed up, but. I mean, obviously, that wouldn't be. Who beat yourselves up about it? Was oh, we Look care. at all these we critical care. faces. Yeah. Like, everyone's <laughs> screaming. It's probably gonna oh, suck. They're all walking out now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone hates us because of the red. And it was at a moment. Um, um, you, uh, I don't know if uh, many people know this, it's listed on IMDb because Vlogumentary is on IMDb, which is really cool. And we didn't even submit it, it that oh, just happened, yeah. which is amazing. Um, but you also wrote like the whole script to like the whole movie. Yep. Woo! And it's like done. Woo! Yep. Except for the, you know, we, we, we film it. Except for, yeah, the future that hasn't happened yet. That's hard to write for. Yeah, Joel's a really good writer. So, I mean, I know you're super critical of your work, but what's it like having a... Let me ask you this. I mean, I know the answer, but how do you write a script for a documentary? Um, it's interesting, because to me, um, the YouTubers in it kind of have already written it. Um, so we'll get Joel and Crow to oversee things. We're going to film some more vlogumentary right now, if that's okay with you. down fast. We got seven cameras on this, right? Yeah, there's a lot of us filming. Everything good? Joel's working as if you haven't been working enough. What am Joel, I supposed just to keep do it on mic. I'm gonna go be OCD. Shay, can you talk while I like control, be really super controlling and obsessive? Okay, so, uh, hi, Megan. <laughs> Is that gonna go on the internet? Okay, good. Link to me. Subscribe. Link to below. Uh, just a few of, like Corey said, hundreds of people. Uh, I mean, we interviewed just a hundred people at Playlist Live. We set up a, a booth at Playlist Live and interviewed, you know, you guys. How many of those did we do at Playlist Live? We did exactly 100. Just, just regular did we we have viewers. Moment, yeah. yeah. So, so we have a hundred YouTubers and then a hundred viewers. Right. Right. Which are also YouTubers. Yeah. So uh, this is your, ch your chance to to get the movie. So what questions do you have for uh, any of us? music for people and to entertain people and meet a lot of people face to face more than just a couple times a year like more than just VidCon and more than just playlists and you you get messages and you get comments saying unbelievably nice things all the time and I, I feel like we're very lucky in that respect but when somebody looks you in the eyes and says like you said this this and that and it changed my life or you know you went through this and said this about it and I was able to pick up on that and maybe like save some time on my journey through that crappy part of my life and uh, knowing that you made a difference is kind of ridiculous and um, because we are just normal people and we are just saying stuff it's just that like some of the stuff we say is a shared experience thing you know and uh, being able to make the face to face connection with somebody and then to end that with an appropriate A-frame hug is uh, uh, it's a really special thing. I'm gonna call this the oops. Uh, even in, you know what? I just figured out where the speaker was on this phone. On this phone. <laughs> it's been a long few days. Um, on the camera, and apparently I've had my finger on it a lot of the time because it's right next to the button where you take pictures, right in the corner that you would normally hold. So I'm not sure what their design thoughts were on that, but let's call this Buffer Festival wraps up because I just got back to my room from the last show um, which was amazing the whole weekend Friday Saturday Sunday with Buffer Festival has been amazing I really wish I'd known about Industry Day 
a while ago, um, but they've already given us dates for next year's Buffer Festival. So fingers crossed, don't know where my life's going to be at um, in a year, but you never know. Hopefully I can make it again for the third year. But so I'm just going to run through these. Okay, so first show, Welcome to Buffer. It was great. It was really nice, a little bit more about what was going on. Uh, you got to see a few videos that if you weren't going to certain screenings, you probably wouldn't have seen, which was nice. Um, next is Canadian A. I need to follow a few more Canadians. It was kind of cool to hear about some. My arm's getting tired already. And I'm only on number two. <laughs> but it was really good too. Uh, and then I got to meet uh, Hey Nadine, and I know her through Allie's travel vlogs, Allie Trippy, and then also meet Matt, uh, who I've known online for a couple years, uh, and he recognized my Twitter name. Um, plus, I think Scott talks about me every once in a while. I think I'd be lying. <laughs> but anyway, that's another thing I'm going to talk about. So we have Corey Vidal, Prentice A. And this is when I ran into a my one of my first scheduling issues. Oh, I have a, probably a big giant head because my arm's tired and I can't hold it out. But I don't want to put it down because it's a bad angle. Hold on. All right. <laughs> this is not a better angle, but at least the camera's farther away from my head. So it's just not this part of my face. All right. Um, Corey Vidal, Apprentice A, makes me cry. You need to stop that, Corey. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Musicians and music videos. Now, this is my first conflict. Was musicians and music videos was up against Corey and Apprentice A, which made me sad. Which because <laughs> I didn't actually get to meet them. I did get to talk to Mary um, and Saskia. I saw Crado and Samantha and Corey in passing, kind of thing. They probably have no idea who I am, but at least. Saskia and Mary know who I am and I'm not a complete stranger or strange anyway but so I decided to go with musicians and music videos and I'm glad I did because I discovered a couple other really good musicians now Mike Falzone has been around for a long time on YouTube and I just see him occasionally um, on different things but he is really good and he performed at the gala which I'll come to shortly so yeah Friday was pretty much my busiest day I went from 10 in the morning until 9.30 that night. So that was go, go, go. Everything was back to back. There was a lot of walking involved. And then there was the Star Wars Fan Film Showcase, which was amazing. I really enjoyed it. And um, I have to look at some more of Owen's things and I will find his proper name because I have it in some of my paperwork, but he does that kind of stuff plus he had a uh a fan film which was amazing um they had a quite slight glitch um they had a slight glitch when they were showing it and you missed the first part but i got to see the whole thing at the gala which i will go back into behind the scenes now i think this is my favorite we didn't actually see any videos. It was Charles and Shay, Shay Carl and CTFXC, just talking to us, taking our questions, and it felt very intimate and, and really nice. And I really enjoyed it. And I actually had a really good clip of Shay and Charles showing their bro love at uh, Charles's meetup, uh, which I will um, put in on the proper day. But I might make it a shorter clip so I can share it out a little bit more because it was so funny and amazing. So, but this, this was really good. Now I forgot one because I went to Shea Carl's show and for some reason I can't find my little ticket stub for that one. I'm going to have to find it um, because Shea on Saturday uh, at noon was my very first show. And then I went to the meetup afterwards and got to meet him and he was nice enough to give me a shout out for Brittany Beach. He had some slight confusion about who that was but then it triggered and he totally remembered who you were <laughs> so that was that was a lot of fun and then behind the scenes happened and then it was time for the gala so I came I grabbed a cab back to the hotel um, had a bit of time getting my footage off my camera onto the laptop because I had filled up my card I actually missed a couple minutes at the end of 
um, behind the scenes because there was so much good footage. Probably because we didn't have videos and, and Shay and Charles were just chop talking. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if those sirens actually play over the video. Uh, yeah, so then it was the gala premiere. Now, I didn't rush. I also was having issues, technical <laughs> difficulties, but I didn't rush because I didn't want to have to be standing outside because I didn't want to take a jacket because I had a nice dress, um, which you've seen before in a previous clip. Um, and it was, my boots were okay, comfortable, but my feet were cold. By the time we got in, my knees were cold and uh, going down the stairs <laughs> was a little difficult, but hey. What can you do? But it was really cool to see the performances and people talking about their videos and presenting them and talking about the direction that they think YouTube is going and media, new media in particular. And I need to find out that gentleman's name who mentioned SMP Films or Mr. Safety in his speech. And he is the head of, he started this company called New Media Wave, I think, or something. I have to find out what that is. I might tweet, tweet to Saskia or somebody. They'll probably be able to tell me. Um, yeah, so I got home at, because it ran long. So I think I got home around midnight, ate some more cold fried chicken, because that's what I've been subsisting on. <laughs> when I first got here Thursday night, I ordered a big batch of chicken and biscuits. And I have been eating those for Thursday night, twice on Friday, no, once on Friday, because I didn't have time to eat, and then I had um, chicken twice yesterday because I didn't have time to eat more than a um, donut from Tim Hortons, so I had two pieces of chicken between behind the scenes and the gala, and then when I came home from the gala because I was starving. I'm starving again, so I'm gonna have chicken again. I might be running out. I might have a couple more pieces left. But this morning, noon, science and education, which had um, Matt Santoro and uh, Vsauce and ASAP science. I could have my sheet here and I'd be able to tell you right away. I'm tired, it's 10.25 on Sunday night. I have a nice quiet day tomorrow and then I'm meeting my cousin Carrie and we're gonna go have dinner together which will be nice. We haven't seen each other for years, decades practically. So science and education was good. I didn't do the meetup because I had CTFXE right after, well, half an hour, three quarters of an hour so I missed out on that meetup, but I had met Matt and I didn't really know the other two guys, but I'm going to investigate their channels. Excuse me. And then I had CTVXC from two to four and the meetup was right after that. And I was trying to decide whether I was going to do the meetup because I was having, I wanted to wear my sandals one day and I chose today and I probably shouldn't have because my feet were burning <laughs> most of the day. I don't think I have a blister like I did last year, but yeah. I thought, oh, I'm not going to be walking that much. Apparently, walking five street blocks is a lot farther than walking across the office or the parking lot or from the garage upstairs at the hospital. <laughs> so I just meandered over, and I, so I was at, right at the almost the end of the line for the CTFXC one, uh, but Charles was holding up really well. And we don't, at the meetups, you don't really get a lot of time with them. You can't like take 20 pictures and have 10 million hugs and tell them your life story. Uh, you basically have 15 seconds and hopefully get a picture and have a quick little conversation. Uh, you can give them stuff, but it's put on a table so they're not like opening it right in front of you. Uh, but I didn't mind that. Some people did, um, but I didn't mind it. And I did manage to get Charles on video, so you can see. Uh, and uh, his head was in most of it. Mine, not necessarily very much. Uh, and then I had a break, which was nice because I actually sat down and ate and probably, I don't know if you can see, got dinner on myself. Uh, because I tried the Boston pizza, what's it called? Pepperoni burger pizza thing? I don't know. It was okay. 
Um, I don't know if it's as good as some people have made it out to be, but it was okay. But I did manage to get grease in my shirt. It's just in time to meet Scott Kim Martin, who I have been following for not creepy following, just following on YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and what have you. So we finally got to meet face to face and I will post that picture in here if I don't forget. I, I will be probably tweeting that I did retweet his picture that he posted because uh, Wi-Fi internet in it's good here but um, not enough to do video and pictures. I sure hope this is still recording because that would be really bad if it stopped. And then my last show was Vloggers and Vlogumentary. Um, and there was a 10 minute featurette of some footage of Shay and Katie Lett's interviews that they're probably not going to use in the movie. They had, there's a lot of rules that they have to follow in order for the vlogumentary to be put out there. And Corey explains it really well and I'm not sure if I recorded any of that, but there are rules. Uh, that they're trying to follow so that they can have the biggest distribution of the movie. Um, and it's, it's pretty much finished, but they're probably still going to be filming, and they actually filmed some while we were there at um, the screening, which was cool. So they had some audience members ask questions, and hopefully you'll see me in there somewhere, and I don't know if I'll be in the Apprentice A vlog either, um, but they were vlogging at the same time. So, yeah. I'm tired. I met a few people. Uh, there was one young lady from London, UK, London, who came specifically for Buffer. I am not the one who came the farthest by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, although a lot of people were amazed that I came from Alberta. Uh, taking a lot of Beck's cat taxis from here to the Tiff Bell light box because usually that was the easiest way. Everybody knew where it was. And um, so I just get dropped off there. I'd go to Tim Hortons, have a donut and croissant, and then walk, 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 and just enjoy myself. Having my tablet for Twitter was great, except for when it ran out of juice. Ugh, I need to stop saying, um, we talk about that too in a lot of different screenings uh, and what you added out of those. And, you know, Charles from CTFXC uh, is an amazing young man, and he is going... I just, I told him, just keep on doing what you're doing because you're doing it right. Because nobody can tell you how to live your life. You just have to live it. And if some people don't like that, then they can just peace off. All right, so that's me, tired, with bags under my eyes probably, and probably the lighting is all wrong and everything, but I am tired. I'm going to have some chicken, serve some internet. I'm so far behind on my YouTube videos. I'm going to just.